Hi everyone, here is our math problem for today. Which is larger, 100 raised to 99 or 99 raised to 100? And we are not allowed to use a calculator. You can pause the video and see if you can strategize in order to find which between these two is the larger number. Now let's solve this problem together. There are three things that can happen here. Either the left and the right side are equal, or the left side is greater than the right side, or the left side is less than the expression at the right side. Now, since these numbers are big numbers and we are not allowed to use a calculator, then logically, our tendency is to make these numbers smaller so that we can compare those values. And the way to make a number smaller is either you subtract or you divide. But in this case, it's easier to divide by certain constant to make the value smaller. So let's carry out that plan. Let's divide both sides by 99 raised to 99. The reason why we chose this constant is obvious when we look at some properties of exponent. So let's recall this property of exponent. When you have the quantity a raised to b all raised to a certain exponent x, that is also equal to the numerator raised to that exponent over the denominator raised to the same exponent. This right side of this property is exactly the form here at the left side. So using this property, we can now write this as one fraction, 100 over 99 raised to the same exponent 99. Then at the right side, let's recall also another property of exponent. When you have a raised to m times a raised to n, that is equal to the common base raised to the sum of the exponents. We're going to use this because you notice that you have here 99 raised to 100 and the denominator is 99 raised to 99. If we can split this 100 into 99 plus 1, then we'll be able to simplify this right expression much better. So let's carry that out. First, we're going to split the exponent 100 to 99 plus 1 and then Applying now this property, we can turn this into multiplication, the base raised to the first exponent times the same base raised to the second exponent, which happens to be 1. That's why we do not need to write 99 raised to 1 here anymore. And there is now a common factor, 99 raised to 99. And simplifying, we have 99 at the right side. This is now the value that we are going to compare with whatever value we can arrive at when we simplify this left expression. So let's remember this value and we are going to compare this value with the results here later on. So we do not know yet what is the value of this. Now, notice that 100 over 99 is an improper fraction that we can rewrite as a mixed number 1 plus 1 over 99 and then we copy the exponent. This form is familiar with us because the limit of the quantity 1 plus 1 over n raised to n is equal to the Euler number e, which has an approximate value of 2.71. Now, since the form here is the same as this form, and this number e is the upper limit of this expression when n approaches infinity, and since 99 is less than infinity, then we know that the value of this expression must be less than e because e is the upper bound. So we can now say that the value of this expression must be less than 2.71 or less than e. So what we are now comparing is a number that's less than 2.71 and 99. So obviously, we know that 99 is the greater number. And therefore, going back now to the original question, we are comparing these two expressions, which one is larger, our strategy was to make the value smaller by dividing by the same constants. And when simplifying, we know that the original relationship is not changed because we divide by the same positive divisor. If the original relationship is less than, the relationship at the bottom must also be the same as the original or vice versa. And since we found out that 2.7 is less than 99, then we are also sure that the original expressions 100 raised to 99 must be less than 99 raised to 100. And this is now our final answer. So thank you very much and please don't forget to follow us at our YouTube channel at Math Avenue and our Facebook channel at Assistant in German Academy. We hope to see you again in our next video. Bye for now.